Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. I hope you find this video well, morning, noon, and night. And if you like our content, please click that subscribe button. Please click that like button because you know it's only going to help us. I hate to go out there and pimp that, but I do it once in a while. And I'm doing it this time because I'm talking to you. And we're going to talk about today, if you want to find out how Di and I hit platinum on Disney Cruise Line, this video is for you. So let me tell you now, Diane and I, we started our cruise life uh, as a sheer accident. It was, it, it was, it was kind of a, a strange thing, but we're at Disney World probably in 2015, 2016, and we were in line with a couple and they were in front of us and we we're gonna get on the bus going to Animal Kingdom or one of the parks. And they were telling us how they just got off a cruise, the Disney cruise ship and how they loved it. It was their first cruise and now they're at Disney World enjoying Disney World and they're just having the time of their life. And I looked at my wife and I said, you know what, one day we're gonna do that. And the next time we went to Orlando and our planned our trip, we added a cruise to our Disney cruise and our Disney vacation. And it was a great vacation. I mean, it was five days at Disney World and four days uh, on the Disney Dream from February 12th to February 16th of 2018. And we're in room, stateroom 9574. Uh, it, a celebration for Valentine's Day. Uh, I gave Diane a, uh, a big celebration because I realized that you were able to buy gifts and flowers and all this stuff to have the room decorated before you walked into it. So I did that for her uh, on this particular selling on Valentine's Day. Uh, and it was a fun time. She enjoyed it. We got all on video. Hopefully, I'll be popping this stuff in and out here while I'm talking. Um, or I may not. I don't know. Figure it all out. Um, and we loved it so much that uh, we couldn't stop talking about it. So we got back to, to home to Texas, and we realized we wanted to get back on a cruise. So I started looking, and I realized, hey. Disney Cruise Line cruises out of Texas. Of course, you got to realize we didn't know nothing about Disney Cruise Line at the time. So we immediately booked a selling on the Disney Wonder from November 2nd to November 8th, 2018, which was within the same year. And we're in room 7622, which was another balcony room. And we went to uh, Cozumel, Mexico. And then we went to the Grand Cayman Islands. And then we came back to Texas. And that was a pretty fun cruise, six day, five night. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was. It, it wasn't my favorite cruise. Um, the ship was smaller, uh, but I really didn't realize it too much because I was still new to cruising. So all this stuff was new to me. But I was a little bit well versed about how the dining uh, rotation was working and how things worked a little bit better on my second cruise. So I got a lot more out of the second cruise than I did out of the first one. There's no doubt about that. So after that second cruise, we loved it so much, we jumped back on the Disney Wonder. And let me tell you what, I'm gonna tell you right now, this was the best itinerary that I ever had on Disney Cruise Line. We got on the Disney Wonder in Galveston, Texas on November, on November 29th to December 6th. I remember this well because we had to leave on Thanksgiving Day to drive to Galveston to obviously to get there the night before. Um, we were in room 7622, again, the same room, and we, this particular itinerary took us to Castaway Key back to sea, back to Castaway Key for a double dip, and then to Key West, Florida, and then back to Galveston, Texas. I'm gonna tell you what, 
I love that itinerary. Diane loved that itinerary. There was nothing about that itinerary that wasn't worth doing again. And they never did it again. I've been looking and looking and looking. I, I, I would love to see one go to Lighthouse and one to go to Castaway and then to go to Key West in Texas. That would be so awesome. But it didn't happen. So we love that so much that once again, we went out of Texas because Texas, this is the home state is our, our home state is Texas. It's not Florida. And it's a lot easier for us to get to Texas. Obviously, it's a lot cheaper. We're not going to fly. We're not going to drive. We don't got to, you know, spend a lot of money traveling. And of course, if we're going to go to Orlando, we want to go to Disney World. And we want to go to Disney Springs and go to one of our favorite places. There's several favorite places like the, such as the Boat House. Uh, and it's just, you know, you got you got to spend some time there. It's so, so much easier for us to run to Galveston and then run back home. And, you know, everything's just so much easier for us. So we're on the Disney Magic on January 23rd to tw January 27th in room 6098 which was a balcony and then which this was our first back to back and then we were on the cruise from January 27th to 31st but in order to bring costs down we move rooms from a balcony room to a ocean view room and room 2060 uh, that was the first time we were ever in an ocean view room um, and these cruises just went back and forth to uh, uh, Cozumel, Mexico and to Progreso, Mexico. And they're fun. They're fun cruises. Um, and I don't mind going out and hanging out over there. Uh, they got a lot of cool wares. You can go and maybe pick up some good leather goods and those type of things. Uh, makeup and and you can pe definitely pick up some, some good... Uh, pharmaceutical drugs if you're looking for you know uh, topical ointments and those type of things that they don't sell uh, in the United States and they sell them in Mexico they're a lot stronger um, because you know uh, my disability and my back and my knee my neuropathy um, I'm able to get a little bit more a little bit more relief from <laughs> unfortunately you say with the Mexico uh, uh, prescription uh, uh, pharmaceutical drugs than buying here in the United States at CVS or Walmart. So it's just that's crazy. But every time we go to Mexico, I'm able to do that, and I like that. Um, then on May 13th of 2013 of 2023, we jumped on the Disney Fantasy, went and had it. One of those vacations where we fly in to Orlando, we go to all four parks, we go to Disney Springs, we have a day off, and then we get on a Disney cruise ship and fly home on the same day when we get off the ship. Um, not my favorite way of doing things because I do like to stay an extra day after getting off the ship hate to rush to the airport and everything I just I just hate it but uh, we did and that was the first time we did that and I learned I didn't too much care for that any in any case this on this particular sailing we're on the Disney fantasy for the first time um, which was a sister ship of the Disney dream and out of Port Canaveral and I'm gonna tell you this ship was beautiful I love the Disney fantasy uh, again Diane and I had been going to Apollo uh, on the Disney Magic, on the Disney Wonder. We went to Apollo and Remy on the Disney Dream. And then on the Disney Fantasy, went to Apollo and Remy. Checked out all the food services. They were great. And the most special thing about this cruise is we made some friends. And some friends, um, some cruise friends, uh, Jody and Maddie, from the great state of Illinois and we have cruised with them several times 
well one time and we're going to cruise with them again here in another less than 60 days 40 days uh we're going to cruise with them um and they just turned gold so yeah you know hey hooray for them because i know how that feels that's a great feeling uh and so we have may 13th through the 20th uh of of 2023 we're on a disney fantasy we met our friends jody and maddie and then Diane and i went back to get on the disney wish because we waited and waited and waited for the disney wish this was going to give us the grand slam cruise and you got to realize in 2018 we didn't even know what cruising was and by 2023 we had already accomplished getting on every cruise ship that disney had to offer in their fleet by september 18th through 22nd so we got on the disney wish once again we're in a balcony room in room 6188 it was a great room I love the rooms. I love the wish. It's a different layout than the fantasy. It's a different layout than the dream. Uh, it's a little bit larger. Um, a little bit more, I, I would say, complex. A little bit more interesting as far as navigation is concerned through the ship. But uh, And I did not like the dining rooms. I thought the dining rooms were a little cluttered. Um, for some reason on that cruise because it was only a four uh, four day three night so it was um, 18 to 20 wait, wait, 18 19 yeah four day three night and it was it was if I felt rushed I'd never been on a cruise that short and I felt so rushed on it um, I just I love the ship everything about it we got the video. It's all vlogged. I vlogged it all. I was on a, I was on a mobility cart because we also went to uh, to Disney World and I hurt myself, so uh, I had to get back on a mobility cart because I continued to hurt my back and my knee, uh, and I have serious neuropathy problems. So every once in a while I need a little, little aid, and it makes things so much easier for me uh, to to do the things that you know I love to do and you love to do so then we got on we made our uh, we made our our grand slam and that was one of the most incredible things that we did with Disney that we ever thought we were going to do so we have this year on January 8th through the 12th, and then January 12th through the 17th, we decided to get on the Disney Magic out of Galveston, Texas, at room 2552, which is an ocean view room. Um, and Jody and Maddie joined us uh, January 8th through the 12th, and we went to uh, Progreso, Mexico. A lot of fun, we had a good time there. Uh, and then they went home to. Uh, to, to uh, Illinois into a massive snowstorm and we went back down and enjoyed the sun uh, in Cozumel and then we went back to Progreso and then we came back home that was a five day so that was a lot of fun that put Diane at time tonight at nine cruises and it was it was something that we never thought we would ever ever do um, we have three cruises that are in the pipe right now and in April Dinah and I are going to join Maddie and Jody looking forward to that and we're going to be in room 7500 and that is um, in the front of the ship and we are going to be on the Disney Fantasy, and that is going to be for uh, seven nights and eight days going into the Eastern Caribbean cruise, which is what we did last time on the Fantasy, uh, which is going to uh, 
the British Virgin Islands and um, the, uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and then to Castaway Key, and then back to Port Canaveral. Uh, we're flying in for that, and then we're flying uh, out one day after. We are going to stay. Uh, uh, and we're going to be staying. Uh, when we get there, we're going to be staying at Caribbean Beach. So that we're going to be bringing you that vlog. Uh, we've never stayed at Caribbean Beach uh, at Disney World, so that's going to be fun. And then on December 18th through December 22nd, which is Christmas time, we're going back to Disney World. We're going to spend Christmas at Disney World tonight. Diane and I have decided we're going to spend Christmas at Disney World. That's right, we're going to leave our pups at home. We're going to spend them without them. They won't know no different. But um, we're going to spend Christmas in Disney World. We're going to go on a cruise. We're going to go to Disney World. We're going to go to Epcot. We're going to spend some time together. Uh, I'm going to spend some time with my daughter and her husband that are going to be soon uh, coming back from deployment and heading to Vermont to live. And we are going to spend some time with them. Hopefully before that, um, which would be, uh, well, the cherry blossoms are blooming right now. So sometimes in April of 2025, we're going to be going for the cherry blo blossoms uh, to vlog that uh, and up there and then on March 29th oh I forgot to mention on that selling with my daughter and uh, brother-in-law we're going to be going to Castaway Key and Lighthouse and that's it so that's gonna be a fun selling to two beaches and they're gonna be Disney beaches it's all gonna be Disney it's gonna be no Nassau it's gonna be nothing like that so I like that idea uh, the only thing is it's another short selling I hate short sellings but these ships, they just don't want to do these longer sellings, some of them. But that's what it is. If we want to go to Lighthouse, that's what we got to do. So we will be there at Lighthouse in December. And then, finally, in March 29th to April 5th of 2025, Diane and I are going to get a new Grand Slam because we are going to get on the Disney Treasure and it is going to be fun it is going to be um, I'm not even sure what the cruise is but I think it's going to Nassau and to uh, to Castaway Key standard your standard cruise uh, itinerary for, for Disney from Port Canaveral uh, and we're gonna be room 6200 which is another balcony room uh, and we by that time we'll be platinum and we will be planning hopefully if everything goes fine uh, and the economy doesn't go south which I think it's already going that way um, my plans were to get to Alaska in May uh, on the Disney Wonder if we can make it um, uh, May of 2025 but I also need to get to Vermont in April and I need to get up to see my granddaughter in Colorado um, which is another place that I would like to vlog because the times I've been up there I have not vlogged it and Colorado is beautiful there's a lot to see in Colorado um, any case that's where we stand Diane and I our platinum journey I hope you spend time with us and I hope that I'm showing you information that's going to help you and your family have a better vacation and not only that, spend less and have more fun because these Disney cruises are not cheap because the price that you see on the website is not your final price. So these Disney cruises are not cheap, you have to add gratuities and then any merchandise that you buy and then any drinks that you buy and then if you're doing any of the adult dining that's going to be extra so um, and the cost of travel to get to and from the the port and then you're always going to want to go one day early so you're going to need a hotel and then if you want to stay one day late you're going to need a hotel uh, so cruises aren't cheap 
So don't let nobody tell you any different. Now, if you live next to the cruise port, man, you're gold. But if you don't live next to the cruise port, you're going to drop a pretty penny. And I've learned that um, cruising with Disney. I've only cruised Disney. And uh, there, there is a... There, there, there's, there's a lot to be learned uh, to save a little bit of money. Uh, GTY rooms is one way. Uh, and Dan and I did a GTY room on, I believe it was the Fantasy, and it was, it turned out pretty good for us. It turned out pretty good. So I was pretty happy with that. Any case, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy our channel. We hope you're enjoying our big figs. Man, we got a lot more to go through. I just need to get time to uh, to actually film them. You know, life happens. I'm 60 years old, and hell, I don't always want to work. Uh, uh, and we got so many more big things to show you. Um, over 40 years of collecting, and we could show a whole, a whole two or three videos on nothing but ears believe it or not um, and and we're gonna get to that one day but right now we're trying to get to platinum we're looking forward to our cruise with our friends Jody and Maddie in April we're so excited I love the fantasy we're going to Remy for brunch we're going to Palo for brunch we got it all ladies and gentlemen look for it it's coming soon. We'll see you later. Hook somebody you love. Peace.